Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a classy HP to repair. Can be a nice laptop, can be. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. The laptop is coming from my local repair shop, not turning on. Let's plug a charger. Let's see. This is the pizza we are waiting for. So it's taking no power at all. You can see it's zero. Pressing the power button. No, nothing. No current, nothing. Yeah, no light on the charger. Also. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me open the laptop quickly. What kind of design is this? I don't think I've seen uh, I repaired this model before. Oldish. And the laptop is open. You have a speaker here. That's a nice motherboard. Have the easy chip charging port. Let's see. Plug in the charger. Do we have any voltage? Hmm. So uh, check here the circuit, yeah? First MOSFET, second MOSFET. Not sure what the diode it is. This is the second MOSFET, we have 19.4. So the main power rail is, let's see here, zero, zero. How the main power rail can be zero? I mean, we check both MOSFETs. Let's get closer and have a look properly at the input circuit. Yes, yeah, so we have the charging port, plus of the charging port, yeah? 19 volts. Here you have a center diode, which is good, or TVS diode, whatever. So after the first MOSFET, we have 19.4. Then from here, check here, it's coming here, and this is the output of the second MOSFET, and we have 19.4. Then I don't understand why the main power rail is missing. Maybe we didn't check properly the main power rail. So the main power rail here is zero volts. Hmm? I'm confused. I mean, the main power rail is missing. I'm doing something wrong or what? I mean, after the second MOSFET, we have the main power rail, which is here. Yeah, plus capacitors. We have zero volts. I mean, just to understand, we have a wire, an invisible wire. From the output of the second, no, we have a current sensor. We have the current sensor, and after the current sensor, you have like a, like a truck there. But I can't see the current sensor. I'm assuming this is the, the, the main power rail truck, but it's not. No, it's not. I think we have to take the motherboard out. Because this fault is making absolutely no sense. Do you actually think we have a main have, we have a power supply which is creating the main power rail? That's what you think? Let me check the voltage here. So this is the MOSFET, which the voltage is coming from the battery to the main power rail, and the main power rail is 0 0.8, exactly same voltage like here. Something is wrong here. Yeah, let me take the board out. Just give me like one minute. This laptop, it's a mess. I mean, you have to take this out in order to take the battery out, in order to take the motherboard out. Really a mess design. I mean, even in order to take the heatsink out, I have to take the USB uh, board out. Now we can take the battery. Hopefully it's not like a frozen BIOS or stuff like that. Nah, still not working. Good. Now we can take the motherboard out and the motherboard it's out. It's untouched. Huh? We have a USB-C here. I, I, I didn't see this USB-C here. We have a big uh, coil here. But I can't see anything melted on the plastic, like, you know, to give us an idea what we are looking for. 
So in order to fix it, like always, yeah, what I said, I said we have to figure it out, the schematic. So we already seen the first two MOSFETs. We didn't see the current sensor. Yeah. Not sure what is here. So two MOSFETs was here, then... I don't know. I can't see the current sensor. So I'm assuming this is the power supply which is creating the main power. Yeah, yeah that's what I think. Let's see if it has four MOSFETs. Yeah, check that, check that, check that, four MOSFETs. Yeah. Yeah, so the main power rail is created. So it's missing because uh, this power supply is not working. Okay, let's take the board out. Let's leave the laptop on one side. And let's check the thing closer. And here we have an inter-seal chip, 9538. Four MOSFETs, you know, trying to avoid to take the plastic out. Let's check the MOSFETs quickly. So this MOSFET is good. This MOSFET is good. This one is good. This one is good. You know what we didn't check? We didn't check if the main power is shorted. So on the same power supply, main power rail. Lol, we have 41 ohms on the main power rail. We didn't check if it's shorted. 41 ohms. <laughs> okay, let's come with the power supply. Power supply. Lowering the voltage, more than enough. And here we have, it's taking no power, check that. I mean, we have zero volts, okay. Rising the voltage. And it's working fine. Yeah, it's not sure here. It's taking like 20 milliamps, 10 milliamps. Hmm. No, it's nothing short. Though. 20 and 10, yeah. Yeah, a lot of dust, but no liquid damage. Let me take out the charging port. Oh, I can't take out the charging port. I have to take out the hinge, I have to take out the plastics. It's more complicated. Okay, charging port, 19 volts. Good, plug in the charger. And it's working, that's crazy. It's taking like 10 milliamps. Plug in the battery. It's charged. Wait, I don't have enough current. It's charging 2.5 amps. So what was the issue? Hmm? Yeah, it's charging fine. I can bet the main power rail is present. Yeah. So the main power rail. Yeah, we have the charging light there. Check that. Main power rail is 13 volts. Hmm? So what do you think about that? <sighs> Feels bad, man. Easy pizza? Yeah, can be. You know what? I really deserve a pizza. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let me plug the screen before we are plugging the battery. Plug in the screen. Plug in the battery. So what was the problem? Was like frozen BIOS? Frozen EC chip? Most likely. Because in order to re reset the ECG, we have to disconnect the battery. But it's strange, because the battery was zero volts. That means this should be reset. Do you have any explanation on this? Like any? Huh? Just say it. Any explanation. You have zero volts on this battery. We checked. It was zero volts on the main power. It was zero volts after this MOSFET. Was no voltage on the battery. This should be reset. 
So the problem is, this power supply from the other side was not working, creating the main power rail, because creating the main power rail actually is charging the battery and it's supplying power to the main power rail. No explanation, no explanation at all. Sometimes you just took the things apart, you put them back and it start working. Strange. So I will put everything back in place. Every connector, everything. I'm plugging the charger, plugging the charger back. You're yeah, still charging fine. Pressing the power button. Where is the power button? And plug the power button. Power button. Plugged. Pressing the power button and the other is coming on. Yeah, 2 amps. 1.8. We have picture, check there, we have picture. Yeah, no no SSD inside. But the laptop is on. And it's looping. Yeah, probably because it's no SSD. Hmm? What a fault. Okay, let me put all the screws and everything back together. Oh yeah, we do have a BIOS battery, but we didn't took out the BIOS battery. Yeah, check here, BIOS battery. No, we took out only the main battery. So it was not like a corrupt EC the firmware. Well, some faults can't be explained. No. Nah. Everything back in place. Let's see. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. Current is going up, charging fine. Yeah, the BIOS didn't get reset, that's mean the BIOS battery is good. And it's loading the windows. Now you think that the BIOS battery is faulty? No. Working fine, charging fine, unplugging the charger. Yeah, the battery it is holding the charge. Plug the charger back. Yeah, working fine. Let me shut down the laptop and check the charging current. And the laptop is off and is still charging with 1.3 amps. Ah, you have no explanation for this fault. BIOS battery. No, you cannot have a laptop with a dead BIOS battery and actually the laptop not coming on. That's not, that's not possible. Because the BIOS battery have nothing to do with the laptop functionality. It has only to do with the EC chip uh, EC chip memory and the bias battery is dead then the EC chip is dead then the EC chip it will reload the image from the BIOS itself so no a faulty BIOS battery cannot uh, give you this kind of fault like the laptop is not coming on and we didn't reset the BIOS no we didn't reset the BIOS no like I said some faults can't be explained it's just magic now think how are we going to explain to the customer what was the problem? Because however, however, however we try to explain, we're going to look very unprofessional. Well, it is what it is. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.